Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I just had to restart your video because my throat chakra was doing stuff. You got to speak some truth. There's some truth that you got to say. You got to speak the F up, okay? There has been a lot of delays. Go wild is in reverse. You've been like not wanting to put yourself out there. You're going to need to. You got to speak the F up. You not speaking up is causing delays. You need to push through any insecurity that you're having right now and relax your emotions. Take a breather. Release control. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you have to just do things, Aries, um, in a way that it might put you out of your comfort zone, but it's going to help you grow. I feel like it's going to work out a lot better than you think. All right. So speak up. Now, that was a, that was definitely a hard ass message because it, <laughs> I had to stop the recording. I was like, hold on. Listen to your intuition. All right. Your intuition is probably telling you something that you probably don't want to do, but you should. All right. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to see what you don't see coming. I'm going to do two different sides to get two different perspectives. Sometimes it's two different things. Okay, let's see. Aries, what don't they see coming? Some of you guys could be moving. Strategy. All right, so you're trying to make a plan here. Walking away about how to walk away from something that you now know the truth about. So let's see what this is for you. What is this strategy and walking away? <clears throat> what is the strategy Aries? I can see coming. Oh, this is an important decision. You have the four of wands. You could be married to or in a commitment with this. The temperance in reverse. The king of swords in reverse. With the three of swords and the judgment. Okay, Aries. So, um, yeah, I feel like you have overstayed your stay and we're at whatever this is could be work this could be a relationship we do have the four of wands here this could be a marriage a commitment something that you have been in for a very long time okay um i feel like it's become unbalanced it's become so unbalanced to the point where it's like even if you try to bring in balance it still feels draining it still feels like you are putting in all of this good energy for no reason and i feel like with the king of swords in reverse it's, it's a lot of manipulative energy. Um, I feel like this energy tries to get you to do things um, based on what, you know, is beneficial for them. And I feel like that energy, now that you see the truth to that, now you want to make a, a decision because now it, it's causing pain. It's causing disappointment. You really care about this here, which is why you are trying to figure out like should I should I not the lovers in the verse the fool in the verse and the seven of wands here with the ace of swords yeah I feel like you need to go off by whatever truth you know yeah even if it requires you to cut off communication from this energy even if it requires you to be alone for a while you need to listen to the truth here because I feel like there's there's a new beginning or something that is not going to happen I feel like maybe you want it to happen or the other energy wants it to happen. I don't know, but I don't feel like it's going to, it's like somebody's fighting it off, you know, because it's like, it's not, it's not what is being shown. It's not what is being seen. It could be an Aries or a Gemini um, or a Sagittarius, but this or it could be a work thing, right? <clears throat> But it's like you need to you need to see the truth behind it. I, I I feel like you see the truth and you're trying to find reasons why the truth is the truth, but you don't need to find reasons. The truth is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And um, again, with the Queen of Pen with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands, I get it. You are you very much care about this a lot, and you've been here for a while. But you have to be honest with yourself because I feel like you're you're. There's pain here. There's disappointment. There's, I'm hearing anger. So, I mean, why are you still there? You know what I'm saying? And some of you guys have already walked away, but you keep looking back and wondering, did I make the right decision? Did I do the right thing? Because of fear. All right? Um, it could also be a contract here. But for the universe, is saying, like, don't worry. 
like choose what's best for you and allow these fears to dissipate and just watch how things work out in your favor okay all right aries what don't they see coming aries what don't they see coming you have to speak your world into being so you're going to have two options who else had that taurus had the same energy so you're going to have two options between something embrace the flow of life could be a gemini um dang gemini you're heavy you're really not going to know which way to go um which way to choose i feel like you're going to be in your head about both of these options <clears throat> so let's see didn't I say this before, too, that you were going to have two options in your reading last week, I think? I'm pretty sure I said that. Um, okay, let's see. What is the first option for Aries? Could be a work thing. You have the Two of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely not going to know what to do. You have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, upright, I'm sorry. So the first option is a wish fulfillment. It's something that you always wanted. It's something that you want to put time and energy into it something that you feel like nurturing like you feel like you want to take care of this like you feel like you want this to grow what is the second option could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn eight of wands the hangman in reverse the queen of wands in reverse and the seven of cups the other option um could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag um I feel like the other option um there's there's too much going on with the other option i'm gonna be honest with you um i feel like the other option is pissed right now but they're pissed at their own energy because they're refusing to change their perspective on something like point blank period um and it's just it's just, it's causing it's causing them to create things that are not really there Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, and Inverse in the Judgment. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's causing a lot of delays as well. So I feel like one of them is your wish. One of them is one that you've always wanted. And the other energy is just feels stuck. The other energy feels like it's like they don't know. They don't know what to offer you or what to give you or what to even do. Like, it's just really confusing. And I feel like that's why you might be confused or you might be really in your head because this energy is really in your in their head here um and with the hangman in reverse what i've noticed is that that stuck energy um really pulls people in that are around it so if you if you were around this energy and you felt confused and you didn't know feel like you didn't know what to do it was probably because they were this energy was tugging on you but um i do feel like you're gonna have two choices here and i feel like you should go with the one that makes you feel good inside your soul, inside your heart here. The one that's your wish. The one that fills all your cups here. The one that you know is committed. The one that you know that is reliable. The one that you know that you could trust. Because there's one that you could trust and there's one that you can't. Like, that's very clear here. All right. Or it could be a Gemini, a, um, Aquarius, or a Libra. All right. Taurus, that's all that I have for you. Ooh, I called you Taurus. Could be a Taurus. <laughs> Yo, and I, I was telling Taurus this too. I don't know what's going on with Aries and Taurus, but yeah, I just been leaking in each other's energy for a while. For a minute, like a month or so. It's been a while that you guys been um swimming in each other's energy. But anyways, Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I love you so much. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.